Hi, I'm Ali and welcome to my channel. Today I have my weekly Woolworth shopping haul to share with you. It is Saturday the 22nd of July um, and it is almost a full week but this is going to be our first full week back at work. I'm at school, uh, Kale's at school, I'm at work so we are back to normal routine. Uh, this is our family of three, my husband, myself, our 13 year old son and we have two German Shepherd dogs. So before we get into it, yeah, just uh, let's start with the dog food. Now, the three kilo dog rolls, because it was later in the afternoon, because I had markets this morning, um, they didn't have a lot of selections. So we got the Baxter's meat and veg roll, three kilos. And then I had to get the Megabyte, the VIP Megabyte one, uh, because they only have one of the Baxter's ones on the shelf today so that's a beef one as well the baxter's one is the cheaper one at six dollars fifty and the vip one is nine dollars but that's a wrap that will <coughs> excuse me get our dogs through i've still got one in the fridge that i got on uh, monday so this is a piece of ham now my son takes uh ham and cheese sandwiches to school for lunch and I also take some of this ham with salad to work as my lunch as well. So it's the Woolworths Gourmet Smoked Ham. It's $22 a kilo. So this 730 grams was $16.10. I just got one red onion today. Um, I'll possibly do a Greek salad or something during the week. So that will be an option there. And that was 97 cents for the one onion. Then kale would wanted some ice creams when we got to the ice cream aisle the buller ice creams were half priced this week so he got the 10 pack of the summer splits which has got watermelon passion pine and strawberry i'm pretty sure these are the ones we got before and they're quite tasty so there's a 10 pack for four dollars so we got those uh they're normal two kilos of hilo milk the harvey fresh this was $4.50, so that'll be kale cereal, um, a few coffees during the week, and that would generally be all that we use. Kale also asked for some lightly battered fish today. It wasn't on special, but we had a look at it, and this was the better value packet. There's six lightly battered pieces in there, and it was $8.00. So I said he could have those. It might be either a, a tea before he heads off to Scouts on Wednesday or a weekend meal. Then yogurt this week. We've got the Yoplait strawberry yogurt, the one kilo. These aren't on special, but they're just always a good price. Uh, my husband and my son both like these. That was $5.50. And then the one I got from my husband this week, he does like the Gippsland dairy one it's actually quite thick and creamy and it's got sort of the fruit that that's just poured in separately so this is the mango and blood orange twist yogurt they were six dollars and then i've got the greek style natural yogurt the one kilo so that's for me i usually take either ham and salad to work for lunch or a chia pudding and i'm going to make up a chia pudding this week um, so I've got one of those. I'm going to try and do possibly a shake for breakfast and then take a chia pudding with me and then maybe some ham and salad and then that should get me through the whole day. So that's the plan for this week. So that um, Greek yogurt was $6.50. The little dairy farmers um, thick and creamy yogurts were half priced this week. So Kale's picked a couple. The first one, this is a flavour he hasn't tried. It's apricots with vanilla bean. He thought he liked the sound of that, so that was $1.30, so we got one of those. Um, I've got two sour cream. We're going to be doing a taco salad this week, but also um, I'll have markets next weekend, so I'll need the sour cream to do my dip tastings that I do. Uh, and they are $3.20 each, so we got two of them. Now, I did notice today there is a sour cream extra thick or something, and I'm not sure whether to try it. I've always just used the light one um but don't know whether it's worth trying so we might do that next time but i was also a bit scared of the price because these used to be like a dollar seventy and now they're up to three dollars twenty uh, and i'm makes me think that the thick and creamy ones or extra thick or whatever they were called are going to be even more expensive than these so we'll see how we go i've also got just the Woolworths thickened cream 
So I'll either put these in a keto coffee or we do a, a creamy sauce with them. Um, really decadently, we can add that to some mashed potato as well. But that was the 300 mils for $2.80. And then the dollop cream. Um, my husband has been having um, homemade jam with a dollop of cream on fresh bread every now and then. So we've been getting that. But it's also really good to just, if you're doing a, like I've got a beef stroganoff to do as well, you can do either sour cream, thickened cream, or anything like that in it. So or even Greek yogurt. So I thought, well, we've got all options on deck. That was $3.70. And then the just the just port. The classic crumbed line was on special for $13 today. So I got the 500 grams of the prawns. And they're great just in the air fryer. They're quick and easy as a snack, um, just with a few chippies, or even if you just wanted to have a few with a drink late in the afternoon, we're watching the footy, whatever it may be. So we've got those for the freezer. And then this is where some of our expense comes in because the Hillview cheese. This is still the cheapest cheese to buy. I get the tasty shredded cheese. It is 700 grams. I thought they used to be 800 grams, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But the 700 grams is now $10. So it's $10 for a packet of cheese. And then I also got the Hill Blue block of cheese because this is what I sliced to take with my ham and salad for lunch but the kilo of these are now $11 so that was $21 just for the two packets of cheese and I have got more cheese down the line as well so it was quite expensive today but I had missed a couple of weeks shopping we've run really low um, and I just we need these just to get through this week so um, I won't need to get any next week because I think we'll still have some left you know what it's like everything runs out together so this is our beef mince it's 500 grams seven dollars this is what we'll do our taco salad with so i just do mince kidney beans some mexi go go spice blend which is the flavorista spice blend uh, thicken it a little bit if you wish and we just have it over crunched up corn chips with tomato cheese lettuce cucumber bit of sour cream you can have guacamole as well but we tend not to and it's a really, really quick and easy, tasty meal. My family do like it. So we've got that one. Um, and then some diced leg chicken. Because I was looking for chicken thighs and I could only buy the massive packets, like the big bulk packets. Didn't want that much. I just wanted a few. And um, they had the drumette ones with the little, what do they call them, lovely legs or something. So this was the next best option. So it's 500 grams and it was $9.50, but that'll do a stir fry or a curry or something during the week. Then Kale's favourite cheese is a Woolies brand one, but it's the Australian Light Tasty Shredded Cheese. It is great on sandwiches, toasties, and it has awesome cheese pull once it's melted. It also goes really nice and brown if you're putting something in the oven. So if I'm doing mini pizzas or pizza in the air fryer or the oven I usually top it with some extra cheese and I use this one and it goes brown and bubbly and you get the cheese pull the same as you do with the pizza cheese so this has become my go-to if I'm needing pizza cheese or anything for a cheese bake 500 grams is $7.70 so it does actually work out to be a little bit cheaper than the pizza cheese as well but then we've got the Colby cheese slices. So these are for kale sandwiches during the week. That would definitely last him more than a week. We're on our last little half packet, so that won't last. But this will definitely get through. But this is another $9.50. So we've got about $38 in like four lots of cheese. So it's just crazy. Um, but it will get us through for more than this week. Uh, then I have got, in case I come home for lunch, because I might get a little bit of a lunch break this week now that the season's quietened off. I looked at these. These are the wildly good uh, sweet corn fritter bites with baby peas and spring onion. I've had them before and they're really quite delish, delicious. 210 grams and they were on clearance from $7 down to $1.75. And they'll be great just in the air fryer, quick and easy, like less than 10 minutes, and they make a lovely, lovely snack. So I've got those, so they will be an extra option. 
and then I picked up, because I couldn't get much chicken, I picked up these satay style chicken kebabs. What I do with these is I tend not to have them as kebabs, I tend to stir fry them with heaps of veggies and we have them with rice. So they were the next option. So there's five satay sticks in there for $6.40, um, only reduced by a tiny bit, but they will be an extra option for us. Then our last lot of protein for the week is some pork scotch fillet steaks. There are three in there, so that'll be one each, and that was $12. So that's a really good option. Another way that I like to cook them is you, you barely cook them. You sort of half cook them and then put the um, lid on and they kind of finish cooking. It stops them going tough. They stay nice and tender and they're really nice. Now, uh, some people don't like them, but if you cook Brussels sprouts correctly, slice them up quite fine, cook them in a fry pan with some bacon, some seasoning and stir a little bit of sour cream through them just as you go to serve them. Pile them on a piece of pork. It is yum. And also quite good for you. So that will be another option because um, being back at work this week, my husband does get home later as well. And rather than cook a meal before he gets home and sort of try and reheat it, I like to do it so it's fresh. So that's another quick and easy meal. Uh, another butter because I have been making the butter biscuits and I will try and put a picture up there because I have um, taken a few pictures this week. So that's the Essentials Butter. It's unsalted, 500 grams, and that's $6.40. So this just keeps going up and up and up as well. We've got those and the Dosonia Mild Tasty Sticks. I didn't get any in the last week or so because we didn't need any, but we are now out. So the 400 gram packet, these used to be like about 7 or $8 as well when they weren't on special. They're now up to $11.30. So that's something else that's just gone up again. So I'll get them because my husband will snack on those. I might also take them to work if I don't take ham. So that's another option for us. And then Kale's other dairy farmer's thick and creamy yogurt choice was just the field strawberry. So that's another one at half price at $1.30. Then we have, let's have a look what else we've got here. I'm just trying to find out the chopped spinach. This was the only chopped spinach I could buy in the freezer. One of my meal plans this week has a gooey spinach sort of bake thing. Um, so it's got cream and cheese and, and stuff in it and you bake it with spinach in the oven and you can have it as accompaniment for meat. So that was another option. Um, it was 450 grams. You used to be able to buy little tiny packets, but this is all I could find. So that was $5. So we're just dealing with that. And the laundry capsules... I did get these ones a little while ago. Um, it's a much smaller container. There's heaps of washers in here. Um, actually, it says 16 weeks worth, but I don't think that... doesn't say how many are in here. Oh, 36. So there's 36 little ones in here. They're a lot smaller than the other pods, and I find they dissolve much better in our washing machine. These were half price at $15. So I got some because I haven't got that many left. And then Kale wanted some mouthwash so he picked this one this was actually half price it's an alcohol free colgate one optic white instantly whiter teeth but he got it because it was blue that's what he wanted so that was four dollars and his little guitar tuner has lost its battery so we picked up some batteries this was the right size i uh, got a packet of two they were ten dollars fifty they weren't on special but he needs one so he can have one and one can go uh, in the drawer as a spare and then my other big purchase which will last us for ages right down the back I have got I'll just zoom the camera up so I don't have to go and grab it I'm just trying not to drop my phone is that you can see exotic written there it's actually a big kilo um, big bag of oops sorry about that make you sick it is a big bag of rice. So that bag, uh, it's five kilos of basmati rice and they were half price at $13. So it's got a little handle and stuff on it. I've just got one that you normally buy when it's half price and we're just about out. And we'll be doing a few meals with rice in the next couple of weeks. So it's just easier to get those great big ones when we do. Uh, also needed some white vinegar. So that's just the Woolworths Essentials brand 
two litres of white vinegar, $1.70. So that goes on fish, chips, use it in cleaning, all sorts of stuff. Freight for the pantry, Kale's apple wedges. He needed some more dry fruit for his lunchbox. Don't think they were on special because they are $5.30, but it's a matter of just getting what's on the shelf at the moment when he's needing those. And in a biscuit variety, these are the loaded cheese. They were on special for $1.75, so they'll just be for a bit of a snack. And I'll go around the other side of the camera. The Nutri-Grain was half price today. So these are the 470 gram boxes at $4.50. So he's still got some Cheerios left, but when he's finished with that, he'll go on to the Nutri-Grain. And these Mission Deli style corn chips. It's a 500 gram bag. But these are the ones that we do our taco salad with because you can just crunch them up in the bottom of the bowl and they've got a good texture. They weren't on special, but um, they work out to be cheaper than buying any of the other ones. They were $6.50. And then for my chia pudding, coconut milk, I got two cans because we might do a chicken curry with that chicken. Uh, and then one can for my chia pudding for the week. So they're 95 cents each. And because I'm going to have shakes for breakfast i've got quite a few different flavorings and that frozen fruit in the freezer and things like that so i just got the nature's way this is the instant natural protein plant-based vanilla flavor because i figured i can add my own flavorings to that and they were half price at $11.25 so i just grabbed that one because that that will be fine uh, now to take to work Brown rice crisps. I don't know whether I'm going to regret my decision on these because they do look a little bit spicy as well and the bag's a little bit yellow. But they are baked crunchy with sweet chilli dressing, uh, sweet chilli seasoning. I'm a little bit scared they might be a bit too chilli, but sweet chilli I actually like. So I'll give them a go. Might have to mix them with some other crackers and things if they're a bit too spicy. But they were $4. And then Kale's chocolate choices for the week we've got the caramel wallabies they were half price at $2.50 got some pretzels because he'll have to hit this in his lunch and then you know they're good to snack as well they were $2.15 and because we were buying things for everybody today uh, he walked past the chocolate aisle and he knows that his dad's favourite chocolate is Turkish Delight. So he wanted to buy him a Turkish Delight. So these are on special for a dollar. So we've got just a small bar for a dollar. So that'll be my husband's probably when we're finished filming in a moment. And then he also got himself the Milky Bar. Oh, I just dropped it and bumped the camera. The Milky Bar Classic. This is just a white chocolate bar for $2.75. And for his lunchbox, he's got the LCM splits. So they were $2.50. And then I'll be making some more butter biscuits this week. So between these and his butter biscuits, um, and then his little snacky things we'll get to in a moment, that will sort his lunchboxes out. So Dolmio Classic Tomato Sauce, just because I needed something for the cupboard, $2.50 in case we get that way inclined and I do something that's tomato based and also if we do just have cheesy spaghetti I've got our normal tomato pesto so these were actually on special for $3.60 I think I've mentioned this before tomato pesto just stir it through some cooked pasta a handful of the shredded cheese over there the Hillview shredded cheese top it with parmesan you got instant tea so that happens if we get home we're all tired, we're out of time. It's quick and easy, I can do that while everyone's in the shower and then we're done. The Oreos were on special this week. The original, these are the double stuffed. They were $1.25, so they were half price this week. So I did get two different varieties of those. I got some more of the cocktail skewers. I ate the other ones while I was home last week. I was having some of these um, with like some cold meat and cheese on crackers and things and I was just having that for lunch so I got some more of those they were $3.05 for the jar and here's Kale's other Oreo biscuits they were the double stuff with mint and I hadn't seen the mint ones before so he loves everything chop and mint so he will love them so they were $1.25 as well and the Tocchetti the multigrain sourdough they're just the little crackers at $2 that I pop in my lunch box in case I need a, a snack and I can't get three but I think with the tea pudding and stuff I should be right this week. So
So, but I did need some more chia seeds to do that. So this is a 350 gram bag and that's $6.40. But that will probably get me three for two or three months, that bag, because I only use half a cup to make a, a week's worth of chia pudding and um, I don't take it every week. So that'll be those. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm trying to get through this one because it's quite late and I'm trying to get it done. A bag of Odd Bunch carrots. I went through and had a look and this has got some little ones in there as well. So this will do for Kale's lunchbox as well as any cooking that I might do. And they were $1.10 for the kilo. So it was a really good price. The sugar snap peas, 150 grams. They were $5. So they've actually gone up. I reckon they were only $4.50 or something last time. But he loves these in his lunchbox. So we have those along with baby cucumbers. So the cukes, so he'll have carrots, cukes. He'll have the sugar snap peas. So these were $3.50. He'll so probably even have some beans because I actually quite like these in when I take my ham and salad. I seem to take just a, a picky plate of stuff, just chopped up just so I can nibble on it. These were the 400 grams and they were $5.50. I got a lettuce because we'll need that with our taco salad this week. So that was $3.90. And the bustle sprout, 500 grams. So this will do us for a couple of meals if we do the brussel sprouts and bacon um, for $5.50. One of the continental cucumbers, because that will be for our um, taco salad. This was just the odd bunch one at $2. And we, I had been getting some of the Woolworths baked biscuits for my husband to take to work. They didn't have any. They only had some plant-based vegan cookies left on the shelf. So these were the Woolworths Bakery Chock Shortbread Fingers. So I got a packet of those for him to try. They were $2.50. And then Kale's bread of choice was the extra soft white loaf. And it's the thick slice because they only had thick ones left on the shelf. So they were $2.70. He also asked for pikelets. So he's got the golden pikelets. There's two packets of those. They were two for six dollars and then the crumpets which they hadn't been on the shelf for such a long time and now they are they were two for what were they two for five dollars i think so i actually got two packets of crumpets because my husband likes those vegemite on for brekkie so we got those and then i did also get a handful of snow peas there's a very big double handful in here because Kale loves them and I like putting them in stir fries and things as well. But um, we were chatting to the guy that was scanning them and somewhere along the line he's uh, not weighed them. So I've got a big double handful of snow peas for nothing, which makes up for, if you watched my videos about, I don't know, six weeks ago, I had a bag of grapes that the guy scanned twice. So um, <laughs> I didn't go back through that checkout. But yeah, this guy, he's always really good. He helps pack your trolley packs all the bags really well but he just obviously got sidetracked and I've only realised when I got home he hasn't scanned them. So uh, including that, that's our shop for the week. We have got some big things in here, we've got some expensive things in here so it was a bit more than I was wanting to spend. It was $351.97 this week. My savings, which because we've got lots of specials in here as well, my savings were $84.90. So it's definitely, the price of everything has gone up so much. I know everyone keeps saying it, but I swear each time we go in, we're finding things that have gone up again from just a couple of weeks before. So that was my shop. I did manage to, because I had a couple of bonuses with points. I've earned over 3,000 points just with this shop. So that was 3,032. I've added $20 to my shop for Christmas. So we're now up to $270 to spend at Christmas time and we're still in July so that's just madness but that will definitely buy I think possibly a week or two's worth of groceries in December which will be fantastic right oh so that's what I've got to share with you today I hope you've all had a great week um, I hope you have a great week coming up and until next time take care and I will see you in the next one bye